Welcome to Black and White Cairo Ministries, where Christ is meeting you in a personal view. We're going to pick up today on the 14th chapter of St. John, beginning at the 23rd verse. Listen as I read. Jesus answered him, Those who love me will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but is from the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away. I am coming to you. If you love me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. Here ends the reading. I love to reflect on my childhood memories, and there's one that is most interesting when I think about this gospel today. There was a time when my father took me out as a young boy, deep sea fishing. And we went out in this grand boat with a captain and two other people, and we go far offshore. And after a while of going out into the ocean, I looked back and I couldn't see land any further. We were a good 16, 20 miles offshore. And I began to get nervous. And I said out loud, Dear Father, what will happen if the boat sinks? At that time, the captain pointed over to the corner to a device known as an iperb. And he said, Son, we best grab that device, pull the plug, and the Coast Guard will come after us. So boy, I really kept my eyes set on that device, thinking if this boat goes down, I gotta grab it. I'll never forget that. I went out on a boat many times afterwards and I always, the first thing I located was where was that device? Because I knew it would save me in my time of trouble if it occurred. Jesus is visiting the disciples once again with this wonderful word, the word of God. And he says, this word of God is what will be with you. And if you love me, you will keep my word. He is predicting what is to come. His Messiahship is a road to Calvary where the cross will be. And the cross is what he's pointing to. That is the means of salvation. For the cross is going to say everything about the love of God. God so loved the world that he gave his son. And the son would die for all humanity. The image of the cross is the iperb. It's there in the corner and we're not to ever lose sight of it. Jesus is saying that those who keep my word, my Father will love them and we will come to them. Well, who's this we? Who else is in the boat? We have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. The three of them will visit those who keep the cross within their sight, knowing full well that it was Jesus who died on the cross, and through Jesus we are saved. The Word of God is to love others. We are to love others in a sacrificial way, just as Jesus loved us. The Advocate will be with us. He will make His home within us, so that when our hearts get troubled, when we get afraid, we know that we have Him by our side. Jesus told them that he is going away, but yet he will come back. In our own lives, Jesus will always come back. He will visit us, and he will point the way to the Father when we keep his word. Amen. The talking point for today, what are ways in which you can keep the word of God? What are ways in which that word lives within your heart so that you love others. I really look forward to hearing you talk about how you love others as the Father loved the Son and the Son loved you. And the second thing is this. How does the cross save your life? If there's ever been a time in your life where it saved you, I would ask that you be so bold to share that with us today. As always, go forth in the name of Christ.